Right, okay, I was in bed, I went to bed, I couldn't sleep, I kept tossing and turning and and I'm thinking, God, there's got to be an easier way of getting more power, more voltage and also getting rid of the drag and the lens effect. Now, it's it's something I think that Russ Grease can do with his his um his uh, printer. Um <clears throat> he's been printing these uh, round round coils on his printer. Here's one for you, Russ, and I think this will work. Um, in fact, I'm 99% sure it's going to work because <clears throat> normally what happens when you you have your coil, well, let's just do a coil, uh, as your magnet comes in, um, as you're approaching it, it generates a field, as we know. Now, when you put a load on that coil, that field starts to break or it slows the magnet down as it's approaching. And as it, as it starts to pull away, the field starts to, the waveform starts to fall down. So you have your sine wave. And it actually holds it back, as we know. How do we solve that problem with a coil? And I was thinking, I was lying in bed and it suddenly came to me. Right, coil, uh, right, Russ. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't call you a coil then. Um, right, Russ, here's one for you. This is going to work. Print a coil, right, that's round, right, like normal. But pancake coil, like you've been doing, but you'll have to fix it in such a way because what you've got to do is you've got to lay it out and fold the edge over and I'll explain that in a minute so you've got your coil right and instead of having it completely round what you've got to do is you've got to fold over the the part that's on this side inside like that right so you've got your flat coil um, I'll explain why. Just a sec. Right, <clears throat> I'll cut this piece of paper out. Now, this represents your pancake coil, your round coil. Now, what you've got to do that's going to dark surface, you fold over the coil on the exit point where your rotor magnets are leaving. And the reason, I'll explain what the reason is. Now, the coil isn't, actually, you don't want it complete. What you want is a ring of wires. You don't want the middle part. So, uh, in actual fact, just, oh, damn it, hang on a minute. <clears throat> right, so I was in bed and I'm still half asleep and it came to me and I figured it out. It's quite simple. It's very simple. When you apply a field to the top of the coil, you're biasing the coil in one direction. Okay, right? Now, what you basically want to do is you want to switch that coil out of, out of um, circuit or cancel out the power at a certain point so that the drag goes away. And the way to do that is to have a round coil and then you just fold over the end over onto itself so that the coil is like that All right okay so you've got your hole you don't want the coil in the middle you want it like a ring like this but you fold the end over and the reason for that is quite simple right as the magnet is traveling along it enters the, the coil it energizes the coil the coil is activated there's energy flowing through the wires once it gets to this point, before it's actually exited the coil, you've got the coil on the back, and you've also got the coil on the front. So you've cancelled out, you've effectively switched the coil off, right? At that point, the coil is no longer pulling, it's no longer pushing against the magnet. So the magnet at this point here will become benign, it will no longer be exerting a force on the magnet because um, there'll be two forces happening. There'll be a positive force and a negative force at the same time. So um, 
the magnet will be able to pass without being restricted anyway that's my idea that's what i've been thinking about it's it, you've got no skin off your nose you you can try this you can put your coil on a disc or something hold it up against the rotor load the coil down and take power from it and see how much drag you have on your rotor another way uh, it might be even better is to make it in the shape of a, of a V right but that's going to be it could be more tricky to do uh, hang on I had, to, I had to put the phone down while I did it because it's hard to do it with one hand okay oh something like this where you've got two C's overlapping right so the first C as the magnet approaches it enters the field, enters this point it will energize the coil forward as it crosses the perimeter where both the um, folded back coil of the same coil the folded back section oh call it a c section <laughs> so as it passes this threshold these two points here though it will cancel itself out so the magnet should in theory just release without a problem so <clears throat> there you go do that wind a coil and fold it on itself mount a series of these so that there's say uh, one two three four five six seven along a, a disc a round disc you know uh whatever i mean i'll use this mucky disc or cd disc you could put them around a disc like this right like orange peel orange slices all the way around your disc right and you know, I'm not sure if you have to, I think you might have to connect them in series because you can't have them in parallel because most of them won't actually have, be passing a magnet <clears throat> at the same time and you'll have phase problems. So you'll have to wire them in series. That's the only way of doing that. There you go. Try that.